Welcome to this short introductory video to our Open Interfaith Health Science Center Zoom Sanctuary Inspirational Gathering. The next is on the 25th of January. It's at noon, Winnipeg time, Central time. All are welcome. We're all equals here. Everyone is free to suggest any changes that will make this a more fruitful gathering or to take over arranging all or part of any session. There is a moment in each gathering to get to know each other. What are we each praying for? What's on your hearts? What quote, song, inspirational thought you've brought to share? And we share them. The World Interfaith Parliament in 2004, in speeches and discussions, religious leaders and activists from virtually every religious tradition repeatedly called for tolerance and recognition of human interdependence and the common spirit of all religions. God, I offer myself to thee to build with me and to do with me as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondage of self that I may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties that victory over them may bear witness to those I would help with thy power, thy love, and thy way of life. May I do thy will always. Honoring all the children that did not come home. Verily with exceeding joy, with heart and soul, do these oppressed of thine offer themselves up for all mankind in every land. Thou seest them, O my Lord, weeping over the tears thy people shed, mourning the grief of thy children, condoling with humankind, suffering because of the calamities that beset all the denizens of the earth. Interfaith, multi-faith, why the difference? In another tablet, Baha'u'llah calls for the conflicting peoples of the world to gather ye together so that differences may be explored and resolved. O contending peoples and kindreds of the earth, set your faces towards unity, that the radiance of its light shine upon you, gather you together, and for the sake of God resolve to root out whatever is the source of contention amongst you. The dialogue about murdered and missing Aboriginal women is important if we are to build a community we all feel we belong in. It's a hard discussion and a difficult one, even traumatic to hear. Our Aboriginal sisters have had to go through this trauma. We can learn how they carried being traumatized and we can draw on their strength. If it's too much, you can of course mute. Rebecca Moore, our inherent duty and responsibility as an Innu woman places us as a direct target for violence, harassment, police violence, misinformation by mainstream Canadians criminalization and incarceration. You see it is not only Indigenous women who are living at-risk lifestyles or are on the streets who are being targeted. It is Indigenous women as a whole because non-Indigenous society benefits from settler colonization. The World Interfaith Parliament, it was stated, we need a new global spirituality that it affirms the unity of all beings, that affirms the interconnectedness of all, and affirms a new bottom line of love, caring, and generosity, said Rabbi Michael Lerner, a noted Jewish author, in a panel discussion entitled The Battle for God. O oh God, refresh and gladden my spirit, purify my heart, illumine my powers, I lay all my affairs in thy hand, Thou art my guide and my refuge. I no longer be sorrowful and grieved. I will be a happy and joyful being. O oh God, I will no longer be full of anxiety, nor will I let trouble harass me. I will not dwell on the unpleasant things of life. O oh God, thou art more friend to me than I am to myself. I dedicate myself to thee, O oh Lord. Do black lives matter? Most certainly, for they are the pupil of the eye of humanity. Make a list of your friends and invite them to this devotional or devotional you begin. It is a gift from you to them. The devotional you begin can be as simple as phoning a friend and sharing a prayer with them. They may need, be sick and need a healing prayer, struggling and need to share is there any remover of difficulties prayer. It is a gift from you to them. 
Devotional consists of two or more hearts connecting in prayer. Take care. Have good days. Hope to see you next Tuesday.